Hello everyone, I'm Dennis from Boulder Sounds. This video I'll be showing you the Buffalo Drum, the hits instrument for contact. This is version two. I'm just going to give you a brief tour of what's in here. So right now you're looking at the front page. Um, the main thing with the front page is it has a display which shows you which articulations you're hitting there. You'll see it change as I play. Okay. Um, and then on the right side here, we have global effects, global tuning, global velocity. So this is just kind of a real quick reference page. Most of the action in programming and fun is on the back page. But just very briefly, let me show you the layout of the drum. It's laid out in a mirror style. So what that means is, if you notice when I play G sharp 3 here, nothing happens. That's my null point. That's the center point of the drum as though the drum is facing me. And then as I go out from there, watch when I play G right below the G sharp, it says brush open. When I play the A on the other side of the G sharp with my right hand, it also says brush open. So what's happening is we have the drum basically facing you this way. Here's G sharp. And then the different hits are going to be mapped to the left and right side, which is basically the way you play the drum. So it's the drum is looking like this, left and right side. And so that's the keyboard facing you. So you're basically playing the drum this way, right? So the center point is G sharp and then left and right side goes left and right. So that way you can play the drum kind of with two fingers and you're hitting each side of the drum and getting different articulations. So I'll just notice my display again as I spread out from the G sharp. and so on. Get the idea? All right, let's move to the back page. So now on the back page, uh, you'll notice under selections, we have this display that we had on the front page. So if I play some different keys, you'll see that display change. Okay, and you'll notice to the right, it says, it says the number of round robins for that particular articulation. If you wanna freeze the round robin, and just have one hit repeated over and over again. If you really like that particular hit, you want it every time, then you can click on the round robin freeze button. Below that, we can tune, we can change the volume or the panning, sample start of each articulation individually. Okay, so for example, if I wanna just drop that down, And then I might do the mirror image of that on the other side, which is the brush open. And I might tune that up. So now we have two totally different tuned brush sounds. Of course, that wouldn't happen on a drum, but, but we're in the virtual world, so we can, we can do all this crazy stuff. I can alter the volume, and I can pan them left and right if I want. Okay, but the cool thing is when we get over here under group effects, we can apply each of these effects that my mouse is on uh, independently to all the hits. So you can create a drum kit that's really unique. Um, below that we have send effects. We can add a delay. So let me add a delay. I'm going to turn up the send knob to this articulation. Okay, and then your delay parameters are down here and you can make whatever settings you want there. On the other articulation, so there's the brush drum tuned up a little higher. I'll increase the volume a little bit. Uh, let's add a convolution, see what we get. Spin convolution number one. And we get down here, send convolution. We have a drop down menu which shows folders with different convolutions inside it in those categories. This is instruments folder. This is using a piano convolution. Right, so just right there, I could play those two drum hits with entirely different tuning settings and convolution. One has delay, one has convolution.
Okay, let's do another one. Let's go down to F sharp here. That's a brush mute stroke. Let's go to convolution number two, excuse me, two. And that opens up a drum filter folder. That one's called Baja 500. And of course we can choose all different drum filters from this drop down menu, but I'll leave that one intact. And notice here in send convolution number two, I can change the size of the convolution so I could reduce it. They get quite a bit shorter. I can apply a high or low pass filter to it. I can also apply a pre-delay setting as well. Okay, the mirror image of that is A sharp three. There's my brush mute. Let's use a distortion plugin. Okay, so I'm gonna increase the output on that. And I'm just gonna leave that like it is. And now I'm gonna add a third convolution on top of that in the chain of effects. So let's spin that third convolution knob, see what we get. We get a special effect called zipper up. Kind of cool. I'll shorten that just a little bit. Okay, now maybe I'll EQ that a little bit. So I'll hit my EQ button and I'm gonna bring out a little more mid-range. Take the bottom out a bit. Okay, now I have this for my mirrored image of F sharp and A sharp. Here's my other hits. Right? And so on, I could just keep doing that. Let's do a couple more convolutions. Uh, let's go to the F note now. So that's a open hand hit. Let's use convolution number four. That is called a household category and the IR convolution is bada boom. Not too crazy about that. I'm gonna drop that down to a spoon. Kind of interesting. Let's bring it up a little bit. Okay, and then the mirror image of that. Hand open on the B. And let's look at convolution number five. Drum filter. This is a large plate. Okay, I'm gonna increase the volume of that particular sample. I'm gonna tune it down just a bit. Okay, and remember these knobs, you can assign CC continuous controllers to it and, and change them in real time as your sequence is playing. Okay, let's add a filter to that. Uh, ladder, band pass four. Change the cutoff. Increase the resonance. Up the gain a little bit. So what do we have now? The mirror image of those two samples. Previous two. And the first two. So I could go on and on and show you all these different combinations. Um, but just take a look at what we have in the effects. We have EQ, we have filter, a massive selection of filters compressor settings. Transient is really an interesting and useful effect. Let me show you that one. I'll do it on that note. So if I turn the transient on, I'm gonna increase the attack tense intensity when I increase the attack knob here. Or I can lessen the attack. And I can increase the sustain. So that's a totally different sound than if I increase the attack and I lessen the sustain. You see? Um, and then I could add pitch shifting to that if I wanted to, to that particular sample, which is routed to velocity. So depending on how hard I hit it, that will alter the pitch. You can also create an envelope and do these various envelope settings and, and uh, modulate the pitch over time.
if you understand how envelopes work. Um, so that's really all I wanted to show you on that really briefly. Uh, there's a lot you can do with it. Uh, you can edit your keys on a per key basis individually like I did, or you can change it to global and just edit everything at once. Um, so there's a lot here, but that's just a very brief look at the Buffalo Drum version 2 hit instrument for contact. Thanks for watching.